All right, guys, today we are going to be doing the carburetor and fuel lines on a Craftsman Weed Whacker 17 inch 25cc gas line trimmer. Um, all the parts will be in the box. Uh, it'll all be in the description below. Just click on the link and everything. Looks like everything. It comes with uh, everything you'll need carburetor, adjustment screwdriver, fuel lines, filter, primer ball, spark plug, air filter. Everything you need to do this job comes in the description below. Um, we'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description. Just to click on it and it'll take you right there. All right. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and take off this air filter cover. Take out the air filter. Um, you got uh, Allen's. They look like four millimeter. We're going to take those out. This whole air filter assembly right on out and out of the way. Um, we're going to take the uh, throttle cable off. It's just an S turn. Just turn it up and it pulls out. No big deal. Um, fuel lines are going to take off. I obviously replaced these fuel lines already once. We're going to go ahead and do it again just to uh, show you how it crappens. Here we go. All right. We're going to take off the gas cap. We're going to drain all the gas. We do, I, I put brand new gas in this when I did the brand new fuel lines. But we want to make sure we've got brand new gas in it every time that you do a carburetor and fuel lines. Brand new bought today gas. Alright then once we've gotten all that removed. We can uh, go ahead and get the uh, uh, fuel lines out. I'm going to cut them at the top. One line is thinner than the other line. It does not matter which one you put in the fuel filter on. You know, people will act like it matters. Um, the factory does it with a thin fuel line. They usually put the thin fuel line on the, the filter. Um, it doesn't matter. The, the inner diameter of both lines are practically the same. It's not going to matter which way you do it. Whatever makes you more comfortable. All right, we're going to cut uh, the uh, uh, fuel uh, fuel line. We're going to cut a tip on it. Um, you want to cut half the hose off of it, like, you know, down a ways. It gives you something to grab a hold of once you shove it into the tank. We're going to go ahead, back line. Let's see, all right. We're going to put this line down into the tank. And get it all the way down in there. The reason you're cutting it that much is now you can reach in here. You can see that you can see the line. You reach in with straight needle nose. I have bent over ones like this, and they help a lot better with grabbing it. But if you don't have that, and all you got is needle nose, the further you cut that line down, the easier it is to grab it. You're going to go ahead and pull this all the way on out, maybe you know about that much. Cut this tip off of it. And then we're going to shove the brand new fuel filter on this line. Again, it does not matter which one of these lines get the uh, fuel filter. Um, if you find that you are having a hard time getting the filter on this little line, because it is a pain. It is a pain to get it on. It's very flimsy. It does not want to go. If you have a hard time getting on, don't put the filter on this line. Do the next one long enough for the filter. Not a big deal. It will both act the same way. Whatever, it's getting close. We're trying to get it past that first barb. You got to really get it on there. If you don't, it can pop out. And we don't want that to happen at all. So I'm grabbing it very close to the filter and then wiggling it and pushing it on. And that's getting it a little bit at a time. It's just pushing it on a little bit at a time. You're grabbing it. Can't grab it too far up or it just kinks over and does weird stuff. It's got to be very close to it. All right. That's good enough. 
drop this into the tank make sure it goes all the way to the bottom you want it about halfway down the tank right about there on the bottom if you have to you can pull the line back up a little bit boom until you're right there um this one has the gasket still on it i'm going to take it off you can you can reuse these gaskets not a big deal but if you're going to use the new one it's very important that you have the little hole that's built into this that's the vacuum line for your fuel pump that is built into your carburetor so it has to line up with the hole on your carburetor it has to all right so we're going to take our air filter cover which i don't remember which way this went um goes like this so this this up we're going to stick this through our carburetor um you can put this other gasket on this side it didn't have one to begin with not a big deal but you can put the other gasket on the other side of the carburetor boom like that carburetor on and then this gasket's going to be on here oh you know what let's get this other fuel line in before we get this all up in our way all right so right now we've got the filter on our thin line we're going to leave that like that see there we got this all lined up all right we're going to go ahead and grab the fat line it's just a return line not a big deal we're going to cut again half the line off for a few bites just so we can get it in place get it shoved into that other hole and we're going to grab it with a needle nose and then we're just going to pull it in like about an inch it's all it needs is to be pulled in about an inch that's it big lines the return line no filter little lines got the filter on it all right now we're going to go ahead and put this carburetor back on we're going to hook our throttle cable up in. It's an S-turn, just on like so. Line up the bolts. We have the gaskets in place. Tighten it down. Um, we don't want to tighten one side before we tighten the, you know, the other side. We want to do them evenly and equally so that there is no pinching on it. Make sure your lines are out of the way. They don't get trapped behind it. Snugged up snugged up now we can tighten all right trial's working it's working perfectly all right now the return line let's see if this where you can see it here Maybe around here all right so return line is the big line Fuel filter line is the thin line. Thin line goes to the bottom nipple, the one furthest away from the the uh, primer bulb. I'm gonna put that line in first. I'm to hold this thing. that and then the big line is going to go in the top that's your return line there's no filter on it, it goes in the top there you go um you don't want it too long it can get hooked up on things and you don't want it too short you want to have a little bit of bend in there because uh, these lines do shrink so as they shrink you don't want it to pull itself off because it's shrinking you want it to stay in place so you want a little bit of slack so it has room to shrink but you want it to be tucked in nice and neatly as well all right we're gonna go ahead and put some gas in this thing or blue Gatorade don't put Gatorade in it. This is actually gas. I just, I, I put my gas into the Gatorade bottle so I can look to make sure there's no water in the bottom of it. That's all I do. That way the customer can't come back in a week and, oh, it doesn't run. And I show them water and like, oh, you, you put that in there. And, you know, there's no way I did it because I check every time. 
All right, gas cap back on. And then we're going to see if it primes up. It is priming. Beautiful. Looks great. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and test it. See if we can get this thing to run. Uh, I'm going to pause it while I get it to the camera reorganized. All right, so you got to uh, push the choke down. You cannot touch the throttle. Choke down. Primed all the way up. And then we're going to go ahead and pull it. Make sure the switch is on. Oh, let's pull full throttle. Oh, I got way too much line out of this. Hold on. I got to cut this. It wants to run, but there's a line. It's causing resistance. It's hitting the... Because this is spinning all the time. It's hitting the... Uh, cover. Let's see what it does now. Okay, it doesn't want to idle. So idle screw is this one right here. We're going to turn the idle up a little bit. These things don't have a clutch apparently on them. It's just straight shaft run. Looking good. All right, then we're going to go ahead and put our air filter in here. Let's get all shoved right down in there. Get this cover on there, and it's ready to go. All right, guys, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, I will put all the parts in the description below. It's a kit. It's like less than 20 bucks. Not even a big deal. Um, if you want to do any advertising on my channel, message me. I'll be more than happy to have you. Peace.